Good day everyone, uh, Pase Baller here uh, discussing the fourth game on this uh, February 5th NBA Game Day edition. Uh, this will be the game between Milwaukee Bucks and Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, before we start, I'm just asking everyone who have not joined our um, YouTube channel yet, uh, Pase Baller, uh, please click on the subscribe button below and kindly include the bell, the bell logo or the bell button. That way, automatically, you'll be receiving notifications whenever we have a new video uploaded. All right. So, again, this is an Eastern Conference matchup. Milwaukee versus Cleveland. Taking a look at their standings, Milwaukee Bucks is uh, um, sitting pretty at number two with 13 wins and 8 losses. Um, and Milwaukee recently has had back-to-back uh, -back wins. Uh, those were the wins against Indiana Pacers by 20 points and um, Portland Trail Blazers, I guess, by 20 plus points. So, huge, huge wins. Milwaukee Bucks trying to send messages to the entire um, NBA, you know, trying to flex their muscles. Now, for um, Cleveland Cavaliers, they're actually at number seven of the Eastern Conference with 10 wins and 12 losses. Um, they lost their last game. The last game of Cleveland Cavaliers was actually against um, Los Angeles Clippers. Man, and uh, that was also a blowout. Uh, they lost against the Clippers by 22 points, and that was on February 3rd. Okay, so let's take a look at um, the details of this game. This one would be played at Cleveland, um, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So obviously, Cleveland Cavaliers would have the East... Uh, the no, sorry about that. The home court advantage. But aside from that, I really don't see any other advantage that Cleveland may have. Um, momentum is, is with Milwaukee. As I mentioned earlier, Milwaukee is coming off back-to-back -back wins. Both, wi both wins um, were at 20-plus points. That's the deficit between you know on both of those games. While Cleveland, man, they, they, they're having a hard time to win. They lost against the Clippers by 22 points. Fine. It's understandable. It's the Clippers. But they even lost against the Wolves by 5 points. Um, they, New York Knicks even defeated them by 21, man. So they're really having some, you know, some problems you know, figuring things out. Although, don't get me wrong. It's not like everyone uh, on their team is actually not playing well. Sexton is actually doing good. Drummond is actually giving, you know, giving his best, but um, they're having a hard time, you know, um, being being one, you know, being one team, you know, um, meshing up with one another, so to speak. Um, and there's also one thing that's uh, gonna hurt them real, real, you know, real time. Uh, I see here that Larry Nance, Larry Nance would actually be out on this game, and man, uh, considering Milwaukee Bucks, they actually need. Uh, Larry Nance's defense ins uh, inside, um, and I can't imagine how how feast it would be like for Milwaukee, you know, with Cleveland Cavaliers having one big out. Um, although there's one good news, but this should be a bit of a uh, future, uh, maybe for a week or two uh, from now. That's Kevin Love is actually starting to do some you know individual practices, but. Obviously, Kevin Love wouldn't still be available for this game. Uh, that's just, you know, kind of a heads up. But, yeah, going back to our, uh, to our prediction, um, the spread, by the way, is actually huge, man. It's actually 10.5. Again, Cleveland Cavaliers plus 10.5, despite of the fact that they are at home. Cleveland Cavaliers minus 10.5. This is really something huge, but... I'm going to go with math here. Um, and again, for the past two games, Milwaukee Bucks have been winning um, on huge deficits. And then when I say huge, I talk about 20 plus. So if I'm going to roll my dice, I'm going to pick Milwaukee Bucks in here, minus 10.5. Again, my prediction here, Milwaukee Bucks, minus 10.5. Everyone's playing. Everyone's healthy for, for Milwaukee Bucks. So perhaps this is one of this edition of hashtag fear the deal. Peace out, pass I love and God bless.